this is how to make the best wild goose quesadilla. Goose legs have got to be one of the most underutilized and misunderstood pieces of wild game meat out there. Some people say there's no way to eat goose legs because they're too tough and they taste like an old tire. And that's just not true. The first step is to get a large pressure cooker going over medium high heat and add a couple tablespoons of oil. Season the goose legs with salt and pepper and brown them in batches. Don't overcrowd the pot. After browning, turn the heat down to medium and add some more oil and red onion. Cook for several minutes, stirring often. Then add the garlic and cook until fragrant about one minute. Add the tomato paste, stir well to combine, and cook for an additional couple minutes. Finally, add the remaining ingredients. Apple cider vinegar, lime juice, chicken stock, taco spices, and chipotles in adobo sauce. If you want a medium to hot spice, add the whole can, or add a quarter for just a touch of spice. Mix everything up really well and add those goose legs back to the pot and mix again. Let everything warm up a bit before placing the lid on. Lock the lid on the pressure cooker, and once it comes to pressure, turn the heat down to low. Allow the meat to cook undisturbed for an hour and a half. Once done, carefully release the pressure from the pot. Remove the legs and let them cool down a bit. Once cooled, it's time to shred. What'd we tell you? That tough meat has broken down during the pressure cook, and now it's fall off the bone. Alternatively, you could keep the meat on the bone and pop these guys in the fridge and then warm them up on the grill and eat them right off the bone. But today, we're going to make quesadillas. As you're shredding, remove all the unedible bits like the bones and tough cartilage and because we're using wild geese here, try and find any pellets during the stage too. No one likes chopping down on a steel pellet. Once all the meat is shredded, add it back to the remaining liquid to rehydrate. We're now ready to get cooking on the flat top. If you don't have a flat top, find two of your biggest pans. Set your heat to medium and add some oil. On one side, get some peppers, onions, and corn cooking and add some taco seasoning. On the other side, throw some shredded meat down. What we want to do is get some nice crispy layers on the meat as it warms up, and this will also give us some extra flavor. For the veggies, we're just looking to saute them for a few minutes until they become soft and a little caramelized. Keep an eye on everything and stir here and there so things don't burn. We now have everything cooked and we're ready to assemble the quesadilla. Set the temp to low, add some oil, and throw down a tortilla. Top with some shredded manchego cheese, then add some crispy pulled goose, followed by the sautéed veggies and another handful of cheese. Top with another tortilla and squish everything down a bit. Cook on each side for a few minutes just until some nice browning develops. And there you have it, pulled goose quesadilla. Hopefully this changes your mind about goose legs. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss our next video.